first at six, a big delay on a road project that many say should have happened long ago, all while construction and developments are still springing up. You may have seen it for yourself on West Catawba Avenue. The four lane there becomes two. That's the part that the state wants to widen. Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger is live along West Catawba Avenue in Cornelius. And Derek, this road project has been delayed for a while now, but you're hearing that it may not be complete until the end of the decade. I guess, and part of it has to do with all the stuff that's out here right now. You can probably see some of it right behind me, stuff that's above the ground and below. It's not hard to see the traffic on West Catawba Avenue. It's considered one of the big roads in Cornelius, but not too far off the 77 exit. It becomes a two lane, and for a while now, there have been discussions on widening it. Glenn Ruby knows about it all too well. He's a manager for the Animal Hospital of Cornelius, which will eventually see the road coming really close to them. It always seems to be that the road happens after all the, de the development occurs. But how and when it will happen is becoming more of a question, and a lot of that has to do with, well, everything else. Development springing up are one thing, but then there's looking at everything else that has to be moved, and all that could move this project down the road even more. The town of Cornelius and NCDOT tell us there have been delays in getting right-of-ways and to relocate utilities. The bidding for the project was set to start in 2024. It's now 2026. Add on all that work, though, it may not be completed for years. Ruby knows what's going to happen to the animal hospital, though. He showed us where it's already been marked out. We would lose uh, a few of our parking spaces right up at the front of our office. Uh, those are usually reserved for our, our, our clients. Um, but at the same time, uh, not only would we lose that, we're also going to lose the ability for traffic to turn left into our uh, office here. What's interesting here is that there's a sense that things were moving a lot faster at one point. We spoke with one former owner of this lot, which had an insurance business that was here for decades. He told us the property was bought out ahead of the project, but he knows he could have been there a little bit longer. For others, they, for now, are making do with an uncertain future, one they know needs to happen, but one that will be right outside their front door. It doesn't uh, make it any less anxious for us uh, in terms of when it does actually happen. Now, you may be wondering why this delay has happened in the first place. NCDOT made a point of telling us that part of this is due to some labor issues, supply chain issues, and other pandemic-related things that have been happening over the last couple of years. But they also noted issues and delays in getting the right-of-ways and also getting all these utilities around here moved. And it's a lot of utilities that do have to be moved specifically out of the road to make that happen. We're live in Cornelius. Derek Dellinger, Queen City News. All right, Derek, thank you.